Hi, I pray you are well today. My name is Sarah Gakinya, and I'm from a ministry called Sarah's House Kenya. And uh, I have my music on uh, YouTube. You can check me out on YouTube at Sarah's Sarah Gakinya, on my name, Sarah Gakinya. Well, today I was just thinking about worship and the man David in the Bible. He was such a worshiper. But at one time he fell out uh, of his worship experience when he sinned before God. And he was um, devastated. He felt, oh my God, this is the worst thing that I have ever done. I don't know how to come back to the place of worship. And he began to search God, search for God and seek God. And he made a prayer, which is very powerful, which is found in Psalm 51, verse 10. And he said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Verse 11, he said, cast me not away from your presence, O Lord, and take not your Holy Spirit from me, but restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your willing spirit. You know, sometimes we find worship boring. Sometimes uh, we find we feel as if there's a barrier before us and uh, a God, so we find it hard to worship. But you know what? It's the sin that 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 we indulge ourselves in that uh, keeps us away from really worshiping God in spirit and in truth. It makes us feel as if there is a barrier, there is a wall. When you feel like that, just know that there is something that you have replaced with a God. There's there's another God probably involved. In, in your life, sometimes most, for most of us, it's our phone. We worship our phones. We worship social media. We, we just want to be out there seeing what is happening and saying things that um, are sometimes are not very appropriate. But uh, that is the thing. Some things, some of the things, one of the things that take us away from the heart of God. We don't have time for God. And this time, uh, this guy was desperate. He was desperate for God. He wanted forgiveness. And uh, uh, worship is, uh, is, a, is an expression of reverence to God. It is uh, adoring God, worshiping God. And I was looking at the, the, the New Testament, and I was able to see women who, who worship God in a style that um, I, I, I have never experienced before, which was just special. It was special to Jesus. There is a wordless worship. It's called wordless worship. Worship, worship without words, worship of expression, expressing your love to the Lord, expressing, doing actions, maybe uh, helping the needy is an action of worship, just ministering to your family, doing good things to your wife, your husband, treating people well, treating your, your, your workmates well, treating your employees well. It's unto God. If you do it unto God, then it is a worship unto him and he receives it. It is called wordless worship. Worship. But uh, in the Bible, there are very uh, various instances that show women worshiping Jesus using fragrance oil. Fragrance oil, oil uh, used to be very expensive. In particular, the spikenard oil. This is an oil that is made from roots and stems, and uh, the plant is found in India. And this oil was very expensive. In the first century, it was worth uh, the earnings of a whole year. That was 50 US dollars. That was quite expensive at the time. And I want to focus on, on the woman on jo John chapter 12, verse 2. But if you want to look, you can look at Matthew 26, verse 7, uh, Mark 14, verse 3, and Luke 7, 37. And uh, you, you will see these women who, who worship Jesus by, by using fragrance oil. Let me focus on Luke 7, 37. This time, Jesus was invited for a feast for to eat by the Pharisee. And he went over there, and as they were sitting and as they were uh, eating, a woman entered the house. This woman was not invited for this uh, meal. She was not invited. She came uninvited, but she was desperate. She was desperate for her God. So she came in and stood behind Jesus, and she was weeping. She was crying so bad. And uh, she, she, she knelt behind Jesus. This time, in this uh, context, in this society, people sat while sitting on the floor. So the food is 
on the floor and people are sitting all around the food uh, 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 surrounding the table the, the food and so they sat with their feet behind them so this woman came behind jesus and with her tears she cried she wept on the feet of jesus she 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 washed the feet of jesus with her tears i want you to note that the, at this time at, on the first during the first century people wore sandals which means uh, the feet of Jesus were very dirty and very dusty because of all the work uh, during the day. So she did not care. She wanted to worship her Lord. So she cried in the presence of Jesus. Her, her tears fell on Jesus and she washed her, the feet of Jesus with her tears. She was convicted of her sin. She realized her sin. She knew she was a sinner and she had met her savior and there was no stopping her from worshiping and wanting to be forgiven. She did this because she wanted Jesus to forgive her. And she, after washing the feet of Jesus with her tears, she started drying the feet of Jesus with her hair. Can you imagine how expensive it is even today to just go for treatment to treat your hair? And she, she took her hair. She wiped the feet of Jesus with her hair. And then she started to kiss the feet of Jesus. She showed love and affection to Jesus because she knew this is the man who can forgive my sins this is the man who can wash me this is the man who can make me whole this is the man who can deliver me from the powers of darkness that are troubling me remember this woman was known when people saw her coming in they were like oh my god she, she is despicable how would she come in here they knew her maybe she was a prostitute she had sins she did not have secret sins like some of us she had public sins maybe she was corrupt Maybe she was a prostitute. Maybe she was, name it, she could probably have been it. But she ministered to Jesus. After kissing the feet of Jesus, she took the oil, the very most expensive oil in the first century, and she began to anoint the feet of Jesus. Think about it. Where are you today in your life today? What are you desiring from Jesus today? Are you desiring to come back? He wants you back. He wants you back. He doesn't care what people say. You know what? At this time when this woman is doing all these things, worshiping the Lord, wordless worship, she's anointing Jesus with a spikenard oil, very expensive. People around the table, they were talking. If only he knew what kind of a woman she is. She's a prostitute. She's a thief. She's a corrupt. She's, she's a bad woman. She, she has done all kinds of sin. And Jesus just looked at them. And he knew their thoughts. And he rebuked them. And he said, Jesus said to them, Since I entered this house, nobody, none of you, gave me water to wash my feet. None of you anointed my head with oil. None of you washed my feet. None of you kissed my feet. But this woman, she has done it. She has not stopped kissing my feet since I stepped into this house. Jesus accepted the worship that she gave him. And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Just like that, her sins were forgiven. It doesn't need a lot of mathematics to be forgiven by Jesus. All you have to do is submit yourself to him. Come to him. Let him wash you. Let him set you free because he is willing. Tell him today. Create in me a clean heart like David, O oh Lord. A heart that will love you. A heart that can worship you. A heart that will adore you. A heart that will break before you. A heart that will worship you. He is willing. Our God does not eat ugali and nyamachoma. He doesn't eat fried chicken and fish. All he wants 
is our worship. If we worship him, if we love on him, he will change us and transform us. If you are that person that I'm speaking to, just repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I have sinned before you. I need you. Forgive me. Wash me. And bring me back to yourself. And then go back to a Bible-believing church. And Jesus will be with you. God bless you so much.